All right, guys, me and the half-naked beekeeper, Paul, even though it's cold, he's got his clothes on, going to discuss today what we do for our boxes. It's called eco-wood treatment. I don't know how many of you love painting boxes, but we've come to the conclusion we hate painting boxes. This stuff is a one-time treatment. It's going to be good for the life of your wood. I've got a couple of friends that's been using this stuff for about 15 years, and their stuff looks just great as did the day they made it. Paul's going to demonstrate how it works. Just kind of leave it in there for about five, six seconds. Get it good and wet, good and soaked. A lot faster than a brush. Heck of a lot faster than a brush, roller. Takes less time to dry. They just put this stick across it. Let it sit there and drain a little bit while that's draining. I'm gonna take you over here and show you one that we've already done. Gives it a silvery gray tint. You can actually, according to the box, you can put a stain in there if you want to stain it a different color. Didn't do much for that lid. Didn't do hardly anything from the outside, but looking at the inside, gave it a beautiful color. Inside this box, he's used the OSB on the bottom of that. It did not grab too much of it. I'm going to do a box here in a minute, but after it sits out in the sun, that's kind of the color it'll turn to. That's plywood. That's been done for about, those are about four years, three years, three or four years old. You could dip the inside and the outside. Oh, that shows you the water going in the hole. These are going to be mating cubes. One time treatment. You don't have to keep redoing it. You have bodies, you think about it during the winter time. Bees are warm inside, cold outside. If you put four or five coats of paint on that wood, that condensation from the inside of the hive has got to go somewhere. If your box is not breathing, that's why your paint flakes up. That's why you have rot going on. Sometimes you'll get a box and it looks great and you go to grab a hold of it and it just crumbles where it's rotted underneath the paint. Don't have to worry about that with this. Just balance it up there, let the excess run off. Go back over here. That's got a wood heater. Got a two by four. Well, we got one inch aluminum, keeping it off the wood heater. Hardwood two by fours. Turn it upside. This way, cold weather wouldn't dry as well, but man, this makes it drying time, no time. And just beautiful boxes. Give you a view of the front of his mating nukes. Let's see, this one would be a four frame. This one is a five frame. They're half deeps. But that's it. Plain and simple. Never have to paint them, never have to deal with them again. This I love how it brings out the natural wood look. Yep. And for my swarm traps, when I'm sticking them in the woods somewhere and I don't want people to find them, they blend in real well. Of course, you can see they do, it does not protect against squirrels. Squirrels are chewed on that one. Squirrels are chewed on this one. But they're still protected. Even squirrels want honey. Thanks for watching Wooly Bees.